Grade 10 academic math allows students to extend their problem solving and algebraic skills through both investigation and abstract reasoning. MPM 2D will include the following units. Analytic geometry. In grade 9 math, you studied the various properties of linear relations and started exploring problems involving the intersection of two straight lines. In this unit, you will be able to continue expanding your knowledge of linear relations as you learn to determine the intersection point of two linear relations using equations. You will also learn how to verify geometric shapes based on their properties. Quadratic relations. When you throw something into the air and it drops to the ground, that projectile motion creates a parabolic shape known as a quadratic relation. In this unit, we will be exploring the characteristics of these kinds of quadratic relations. We will learn multiple ways to graph these types of functions, and you will discover how changing variables in the equation you use affects the shape and location of the graph you create. Quadratic Equations If you were given the equation of a quadratic relation, what would you be able to determine about the relationship between the variables involved? In this unit, we will build on your existing knowledge of quadratic relations and begin to solve problems involving quadratic equations. You will also learn to interpret what your calculations and observations say about the variables you're graphing. Trigonometry Have you ever walked past a really tall tree on a sunny day and wondered just how tall that tree is? Well, you can actually use trigonometry to help you figure it out. To calculate any object's height on a sunny day, simply measure your height, the length of your shadow, and the length of the shadow cast by the object. Since your shadow and the object's shadow create the same angle with the sun, you can use your growing knowledge of ratios to compare these similar triangles and determine the tree's height. In this unit, you will also learn how to solve right angle and acute triangle problems using a variety of methods.